We have the motor in the car. Jake is here. We're gonna do a few checks. We've already cranked the motor over a bit to get oil pressure in there. Um, just put the spark plugs in, gapped them. We've got coolant in there, but we actually have a little bit of a coolant leak on that little block off I did on the back of the head. And there's a fitting right here underneath this that is leaking quite a bit. <laughs> so anyways, and we don't have a belt on it because we're just trying to start it up. So Jake's got the gun. And I'm gonna go in the ECU, mess around with a few things real quick, um, just to get it prepped up and ready to start, and then we should be good to start it. So, Jake, hand the camera off to you. Yeah, this should be fun. And I checked for fuel leaks. How are you supposed to know if you're leaking fuel? Well, yeah, I mean, you look on the bottom and you see if there's any fuel leaking, and then you're good. What do you think will happen? <sighs> Boom. Kaboom? Kaboom. Why and do you then, think so? Yeah, I hope not. But well, why do you think so? I don't actually think so. No? I wouldn't start to think if I actually thought it was going to blow up. But what if it does? You see me cry on camera. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see Daniel cry today. Jake's like, I'm going to make that thing blow up. <laughs> okay. Jake literally pulled like one of the best <laughs> pranks on me ever. But the biggest prank is that he pranked himself and didn't record it. This guy, we did the first startup. We got it to start. And this is what he does. Well, he's sitting here in the front going like this. But that's on my first startup of this thing. I thought it was rod knocked. So I'll put, put to the clip of, because Jake didn't record it. So he pranked himself, but I'll cut to the clip of him laughing. And me going, what the hell? Why are you laughing right now? Blah, 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 blah. Like, what the heck? So we'll cut to that right now. <laughs> how are you? How are you laughing? How are you laughing right now? How are you laughing at that? What? Did you not hear that? Wait a minute. Daniel. <laughs> you didn't record any of that? No, I thought I was. Shut up, you weren't recording any of that? I wasn't. Oh. Dude, how could you do that to me? <laughs> it was I priceless. And the worst part is, the worst part is, Jake just starts laughing. I thought my motor <laughs> blew up. We were having a conversation about it two seconds before. And I can't even believe this. How did you what? Like, <laughs> I set it up perfect. Too. That was. I set it up perfect. We're gonna see Daniel cry today, <laughs> right? Well, 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 I mean, a clip before this, I was talking about. We were joking around about like the start up is go boom or rod knock or whatever. <laughs> oh my god! All right, let's let's start it up to like make sure it's actually not rod knock. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. That sounded <laughs> that sounded pretty healthy though. That's why I was like. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actual startup though. Okay, this is second startup. Yeah, second startup. pressure sensor 100 and 100 psi that's crazy it started though yeah but dang those oil pressure numbers are way too high yeah double check everything could be that it's just reading weird oil pressure because of where the sensor's at dude it starts it starts i built it and it starts it didn't but, rod it, almost, knock. <laughs> but it almost didn't <laughs> but it almost didn't right I've heard of people who do this, this oil pump mod, 
With that, where they run two oil coolers. What's he doing? Okay, so Jake just got here and he's shoving a camera in my face. Um, because I have been really bad at recording. But, uh, so when we started it up, we were getting really high oil pressure and I'm actually not convinced that it's that high of oil pressure. What was the oil pressure at? Idling at 100. I swapped, or I went to O'Reilly's and got a larger filter, assuming that I was running, because I was running the stock 2JZ one, and normally a lot of people run like the 80s Land Cruiser one, which is massive. So this ends up holding a lot extra, or a lot more oil inside of it, and I'm hoping that that will reduce the pressure, because where I was reading the pressure at was right into the uh, oil pump, not... Um, or right into the uh, oil okay. filter and not right into the, or after, what, what I'm gonna, I don't know, I've got a bunch of stuff I gotta change, dude. I'm, I'm all over the place about what I need to change in this, but. Well, we also need to change the batteries. How like we're supposed to be working on the motor and stuff like that. You know, I found Daniel over here. Okay, so here's the thing. Instead of working on the car, Jake has slowly convinced me into working on strobe light kit. We're testing a theory. Okay. We'll plug, uh, scoot that battery over here and plug her in. Let's see. Oh, yep. Oh, move your head. Move your head. Move your head. There we go. There we go. So it's doing. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's cool. In the in the video, it looks you can see it like lighting up like doo -doo -doo. really. So we gotta pull the motor back out again. <laughs> um, Why? Because I mean, you can probably see it right in there. Yeah, you can't see it in there. You use your flashlight. You see? Uh, no. There, there's no. You can't. Get over here. Oh, focus. But anyway, explain <laughs> explain to what happened. We spent too much time on. This. Yeah, so <laughs> the uh, bleeder valve screw thing for these, because he used a T56 uh, slave cylinder, totally like sheared off and is like actually like stuck in the bottom of the uh, bell housing right now. So I had to get a new one and I'm doing the remote bleeder just because I don't really want to like have to deal with that ever again. So yeah. Did it get like hella bright? Yeah, and then it went dark. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, finish pulling this thing out. Cool. Hey. One more time? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> this guy, without warning, grabs the camera. <laughs> of course. So what are so you doing? So, uh, we gotta swap out the spring with this spring from an NA pump. What, what kind of pump is that for people who don't know? This is a Turbo 1J pump. What kind of pump? Oil pump. Oil pump. There we go. Oh. This is the curse of Jake touching the camera. It wasn't recording. Yeah, so we have to pull that spring out and swap that in there. And uh, apparently, we have to take the timing belt off, which sucks because that means I have to retime the motor again, again. Again, again? Again, again, because this isn't like the first or second time. Because I had to swap this to the 2JZ idler. I didn't know you have to do that for 1.5 J's. That was swapped to that. Just all around not fun. Uh, we are like right there ready to start this thing. Um, I'm just doing one last check to make sure everything's good to go. We're starting it without the, the uh, timing cover on because we did the spacer washer thing on the oil spring bolt. Um, a lot of people said when you increase the spring or when you uh, shim the spring by 1.5 millimeters, which is about what we shimmed it the opposite direction, uh, that it reduce or that it increases it one bar. So we're hoping to decrease it by like one bar, or if not more, because it's reducing the pressure on it. So um, yeah, we're just doing like the pre-flight pre-flight checklist, and then we should be good to go. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. So. Um, yeah, we got the motor in, we've got everything done, we've kind of got it like dialed up enough to just start because again, I just want to double check the oil pressure and um, I bled the clutch this time with the remote bleeder and it didn't break off in there so I'm happy with that. Such a mess in here because of how much I've been like busting on this thing. Yeah. 
Don't you dare do one of those. I don't know. But that sounded uh, good. I don't know what that noise was. What was that? It sounded weird, didn't it? Yeah. Maybe there's an air bubble. In what? The oil. I wouldn't make that noise. <laughs> you were thinking. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really, truly don't know what that could have been. I mean, that's the only thing that would make sense to me. Sound we're like getting, we're getting lower oil pressure, though. So 70 PSI cold is okay all right so if you guys have an oil issue where you've just built a 1.5 jz and you're using and you're using a non-turbo block that doesn't have oil squirters but you're using your turbo 1 jz oil pump and you see crazy high oil numbers one thing that we just found out we tested might not be the best or smartest technique but it does it does work we put a washer to space off the to space off the spring perch at inside the oil relief spring perch and so we've spaced it off a sixteenth of an inch and now it's idling at a lot lower of an oil pressure i think this is also a modified oil pump uh, i just don't know if they were modifying or if this has been modified for the relief i should have done that i didn't rip the oil pump completely apart um and really i don't know i figured i was going to get a 2j pump here soon anyways and so i just kind of went with this but it so works. now it works and we're seeing by doing this we reduced it down to about 75 psi from 95 or 90. Nine, i thought it was 98. or 98 yeah i mean originally it was 100 but <laughs> that was pretty crazy so now we've seen the reduced oil pressure numbers i'm happy i think this is good enough to drive i mean well it's not not yet but yeah, anyways, that's a good tip to do. If you ever need to do that on your car, or if you have that, that oiling issue, that is the quick, easiest fix. Yeah. Yeah, and if you run an RB, just change out the whole damn oil pump. If you run an RB, go throw it in the trash and get a Jay-Z. Don't listen to him. RBs are way cooler. But yeah, it's the first time I had the accessory belt on it since putting this in, so now the actual, the alternator actually will charge. Mm -hmm. And guess what that means? You can drive it around. I can drive it around because I got power steering now too. Because David welded this up for me. 